Let's now shift gears to the Coffee Stakeholders Summit, which ended today, with stakeholders agreeing on a set of recommendations to revive the sector. Among other things agreed upon are prompt payment of their dues, full control of the Kenya Planters Cooperative Union, as well as the establishment of ethics for coffee marketers. Clement Masombo has the details. The two-day coffee summit concluded in Meru on Saturday with the coffee stakeholders agreeing on a set of proposals to revive the ailing sector. The two-day summit was chaired by Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa and attended by all coffee stakeholders countrywide. Among the proposals agreed on is the inclusion of women and youth in the coffee value chain, the merging of small cooperative societies, revival and funding of the Coffee Board of Kenya, and restructuring of the Nairobi Coffee Exchange, among others. We need the metallic drying beds together with the wire mesh and the shade nets to dry our coffee. We are sitting here because this matter is very important to us as a country, as a people, as farmers. They should know that we are committed. I want to extend to them again an olive branch. There is still room, although they did not come. To kisema ya kwamba tunajua mta tutengenezea ingine ya maziwa, ingine kama i ya mira, ingine kama i ya viazi, ingine kama i ya majani. But even as farmers called for more reforms in the sector, the CS for Agriculture, Mithika Linturi, gave a commitment that his ministry would work closely with farmers in boosting the coffee production while at the same time ensuring that farmers get paid on time for the coffee they deliver at the factories, as it is the case with other cash crops. I am willing and ready to work with everyone to ensure the fame the dignity of this crop is brought to where it used to be. The DP gave an assurance that the recommendations that needed approval from the parliament will be presented before the house in three months time. I want to assure them that this is a very serious forum with a commitment at the highest level of government that this coffee subsector must be sorted to the benefit of the coffee farmer it is urgent and it must be concluded before the end of the year. If we strengthen our farmers, it is evident that that money will be circulating right here in Kenya. And it is the scarcity of that dollar that has made the dollar have a precision because of, of uh, lack of availability. Because the demand is higher than the supply. So if we resolve that issue of marketing and our people have direct access to markets and they are paid directly here, then we'll also be addressing the issue of the dollar that is dogging this Kenya because everything is going up because of because of the dollar. Other recommendations tabled during the summit included increasing funds allocated to the Coffee Research Institute and ensuring that Kenyan coffee farmers are paid in dollars or its equivalent. Clement Masombo, KTN News. The Mau Mau Association is asking the government to compensate veterans who took part in liberating the country from the yokes of colonialism. The association says this is the only way the government and Kenyans can show gratitude to Mau Mau veterans who fought for independence.